So good morning, everyone, and I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving yesterday and did the right thing and stayed away from each other and stayed six feet apart and wore masks when they were together and coughed into their arm and cleaned their hands and did the right stuff. Because we need to be in this together as a partner, as a team, and we'll get through it. But today marks 260 days, 38 weeks later, since our first case on March the 12th. We now have 5,498 positive cases of COVID-19 in Albany County. 2,480 people are currently mandatory quarantine. Today's increase is 140 new positive cases overnight. We, our highest that we had, our sec, or this is our second highest single day total since the outbreak started. We hit a high of 147 on November the 14th. November's turning out to be a record-breaking month and not the type of records Dr. Whaling and I and our teams want to break. But we continue to go in the wrong direction through the month of November. We had 100 yesterday. The day before that, we had 109. And now today, 140. So this is also the fourth day in a row that we've had at least 100 new positive cases. We're likely to see this number grow over the next couple weeks because of Thanksgiving and more people getting tested. We have 1,989 new positive cases since November 1st. So we'll be over 2,000 cases before this month's over with. That's more than 36% of our total positive cases since the outbreak began this month alone, more than a third. Our new positive cases, we know that 19 had close contact to positive cases, five were healthcare workers, 116 don't have a clear source of infection at this time. So as of today, 22,264 people have now completed quarantine in Albany County. Of those, 4,534 tested positive for the virus and have recovered. That's an increase of 116 recoveries since yesterday, which is good. There are 43 people currently hospitalized, four new hospitalizations overnight. With the hospitalization rate at 0.78%, of those who have tested positive, yesterday the rate was at 0.76%. 10 patients are currently in the ICU, the same as yesterday, so 10 stays the same. Over the last five days, our average is 99.2 new positive cases each day. Yesterday it was 90.6. Looking at our percent positive rates over a seven day rolling average remains at 3% as of November 25th. So that 10 days rowing could qualify us for the yellow micro cluster zone. Though I keep reminding everyone that the state will likely look at individual localities, zip codes or neighborhoods when establishing these codes. The capital region as a whole, a seven day percent positive uh, average is 2.37%, the third lowest in the state. So what's that mean? In a couple days, we could be in the yellow zone. But we, we, you know, we're gonna get on the control room and talk to them this week and I'll be calling General Murphy probably today or over the weekend to talk to him. So yes, Pat, you'll be getting a phone call soon. And we're looking at the numbers and not to, uh, you know, disagree with them, but we looked at the uh, New York State forward county by county and starting on 1119 to 1125, which puts us in that, that rolling average, 20,215 people were tested, 604 came back positive. So according to our math, the seven day today is at 2.98 seven percent which means that we break out of that 10-day rolling average of three percent where we don't have to go into the yellow zone um but we're going to talk to them and uh see, see where that leads us but again it doesn't mean that we uh, can just go outside and do whatever we need to work together we need to be partners in this uh, because we're going to get there people with the numbers that we're having now and the direction that we're going in we're going to get there so regardless if you know, the state DOH or not agree with us, we're going to get there because of the numbers. Yes, some of the questions I've taken was we had record people taking tests this week. 
for obvious reasons. Everyone wants to get together for Thanksgiving. Everyone wants to get a positive, uh, or excuse me, everyone wants to get a negative result. And instead, a lot of people, I think, woke up and had positive results that didn't think they had it. Because again, as Dr. Whalen says, the best, a lot of people don't get signs or symptoms. So the people that thought they were gonna be able to get together and hang out with their friends got a rude wake up call. And again, the people that were negative, that thought they could get together, please, I hope they did the right thing because what you did yesterday will affect us going forward. So again, please, you know, I'm just throwing them numbers out there and uh, we're gonna have that discussion with the state and see what we can do going forward. It's important to slow the spread and I know people are tired, uh, people traveling, uh, people going out and about yesterday, a lot of companies being shut down today, you know, because of the day after Thanksgiving. Um, Black Friday, people out shopping today, went out in the middle of the night, standing by, I drove at four o'clock in the morning and I was surprised at how many people were, were literally outside stores, socially distanced for the most part, just waiting to get in a store. I want you to support local businesses, but we've put up time and time again how you can do that. You know, we have the websites, uh, the Lark Street bid did a great thing for Saturday, the downtown bid. Uh, Albany's worked with the businesses to get their, you know, to get them in touch with clients that might shop in their stores, pick up at the curbside, variety of things. Please just be smart about it. And again, if you're in a store and there's too many people, walk out, do the right thing. If they're not doing the right thing, get out. Stand outside until there's less people in there and help us um, get back on track because we're gonna need everyone's help to get back on track or we're not gonna be there. Um, go to downtownalbany.org's uh, website and you can see all the businesses. You can do that over the weekend. I know Cyber Monday's a bigger day for that, but I'm uh, encouraging people to do that today and uh, do the right thing to get us through this. Um, Please just avoid the large gatherings, crowds. Uh, I, you know, uh, it wasn't too bad when I was out early in the morning, but it was still alarming. Um, and I was just curious at how many people actually would be out that early or camping out like you typically see in a, a normal year. So uh, please do the right thing, and we'll get through this. And I want to remind everyone um, about our feature on the Albany County uh, website that you can get and you can find out about testing locations and a variety of other areas and wait times. Uh, we are getting a lot of complaints because the wait times aren't what, what they are factual, actually what's going on now, but the issue is that there's a lot of people just showing up to get tested. So please, by all means, use it, um, help, help you set up, especially with kids that need to get tested and everything else. But uh, it's very useful. It took us a lot of time to put it together and uh, Please, there's a lot of testing sites out there you can go to and get tested, and I encourage you to all get tested. But Dr. Whalen. Thanks, County Executive McCoy. Um, I hope everybody had a safe and happy Thanksgiving. Um, we do see, continue to see our numbers go up. Uh, the number today of 140 cases is unfortunately not a surprise. And I think in the coming days and weeks, we can anticipate that our numbers will be even higher. Uh, this is for many reasons, and we started to see um, cases picking up in the fall, and with every um, event where there could have been mass gatherings, we have started to see as a result of that, and as a result of community spread, uh, the numbers starting to tick up. Uh, we know that a lot of people were out around Halloween. We know that people were out after the election. Um, and we are starting to, and we know in general, people are congregating indoors more uh, than they had been over the summer. This was always going to be a concern. Um, and with the Thanksgiving holiday being upon us, we know that this is another opportunity for us to start to see numbers tick up. And at this point, with the numbers that we have, um, my concern really is about capacity of the system. And when we start to see cases like this, you know, we've been very lucky that we have had so many test sites available, that in Albany County um, we have uh, had adequate resources. Um, but 
I need to put a warning out there that the system is not, um, it does not have infinite capacity. Whether you're talking about testing, whether you're talking about case investigation and contact tracing, whether you're talking about hospitalizations, um, ICU beds, ventilators, et cetera, the capacity is not unlimited. We've all worked to create plans for search capacity, but um, you know the likelihood is in the coming days and weeks that we will start to see uh, the system being stressed a little bit more. And people need to realize that this could put them or their family at risk. So if the warnings haven't gotten through to you so far that you could get sick or could get someone close to you sick, think about what might happen if you get sick and you, there is not a system to help you. Um, I think people really need to be concerned. People really need to be mindful. Uh, and they need to be cautious. As we see, the majority of people that we interview still don't know where they got COVID. And I think this is because um, people are getting it through interactions that they may not have considered risky or they may be putting themselves at risk. So there really are a lot of questions you have to ask yourself every time you go out the door in terms of how you're keeping yourself safe and of how you're being mindful in how you comport yourself uh, on a daily basis, making sure that you're wearing a mask that in fact covers your nose and your mouth, um, making sure you refrain from touching your eyes or your mouth, um, making sure you practice frequent hand hygiene. Uh, these are all more important than ever. But, you know, the fundamental question is, do you need to be out and about? You know, I know this is a big, huge shopping weekend, and, you know, for business and retailers, uh, there are opportunities to, uh, to be able to partake of that. I think everybody, hopefully, um, that can uh, do this shopping, can do it online, can find a way to do it so that they don't put themselves and their families at risk. As we know, we generally see cases start to pick up, and then it's a couple weeks later when we start to see hospitalizations pick up. And unfortunately, when we start to see hospitalizations pick up, then we start to see deaths pick up. Uh, this is what we're really working against right now. But the trend, the number uh, of cases that we're seeing are, are not currently on our side. So we do need to make changes. I agree with the county executive. I think that it is likely that part of the county, if not uh, larger areas in the county, will be entering into a microcluster zone in the future. We don't know. Uh, we don't have a crystal ball. We don't know how soon that's going to happen. Um, we're planning with our schools around their testing strategies. And I know the governor has um, indicated that the K through 12 population uh, should have a little bit more leniency. Uh, we don't see as many cases in that population as we do in the high school population, um, I would guess, because uh, the high school population tends to socialize a little bit more outside of the, of the school environment. So again, it's a, it's a point of caution for parents uh, to continue um, to work with your kids uh, and instruct them and teach them how to prevent uh, them from coming down with COVID-19. Um, I know I've said many times I have three teenagers. This is something we talk about on a daily basis at home. Um, it's not an easy time for them. It's not an easy time for kids in general now, uh, for all of us. I mean, I think most of us probably experienced um, at least a moment, if not several yesterday, that this was kind of a surreal Thanksgiving. This was not what any of us were anticipating, what we're used to, what we had hoped for. Um, and it's likely that Christmas won't be any different. Uh, I would just hope that you know Christmas won't be worse. So again, uh, I uh, implore people to continue um, to practice the important public health strategies of disease control going forward. Thanks. Thank you, Liza. And, uh, one of the things we're encouraging, I had a deep conversation yesterday with my deputy, Dan Lynch, and George Penn, and Jeff Jameson, and a variety of other people, and uh, talked to Chairman Joyce yesterday on the phone for a while 
Uh, not that we want to work through the holiday, but that's what happens in this job. So I'm not complaining about that, but I'm gonna say to the business owners out there, a huge plea, please think about when we started this and we shut down for four months and how you operated differently. And we talked about reimagining the workforce and everything else. Uh, please do that now. Take them necessary steps. These next two months are going to be tough. This month in November has been crazy. December and January are probably going to be worse, and I hope I'm wrong. I am hope I'm here, and someone calls me out a month from now and says, well, you're wrong. I'll be happy that if I'm wrong. But if things continue to go where they're doing, so we're saying to businesses, take it upon yourself. Work remotely. Go back to remote if you can. Uh, I'm encouraging my counterparts in the towns, cities, and villages, the mayors and supervisors, go to limited hours, go to limited staff, keep it under 50. That's how we're gonna stop the spread. If you wanna stay out of these zones and you wanna help businesses that are here in our community and you wanna keep things opened up, go to limit it, stay home, it's the winter months, do the right thing and we'll get through this. We're gonna be going to a more of a limited staff here throughout the counties like we did when the governor had us less than 50% and less people coming into our buildings. Uh, same thing Mayor Petrocellery did in Waterville. Uh, it's the reality that we're in. And the only way we're gonna get through this is in a partnership in doing the right thing. So I'm encouraging every owner, do the right thing. Every business that can work remote, work with re remotely, let your workers stay home. And uh, please, you know, we're gonna be working together. And there is light at the end of the tunnel, but the vaccine's not here yet. It's gonna take time to get out. It's gonna take months to get out. And uh, who's gonna get it first? And it's kind of like who's on first, what's on second and third. So. It's one of the things we need to look at together as a group to get through this. If you need to get tested, please, as always, go to the University of Albany's, uh, and you can call them at 188-364-3065. It's free. They don't charge you. Our Whitney Young mobile testing sites are also available, 518-465-4771. And our mental health support, um, please continue to utilize it. Uh, reach out. I don't care if you just have a little doubt in your life, if you're struggling over something or something's bothering you. I know people are tired. That's what they're there for. They're there to listen, to give you great advice, and to help you. 518-465-4771. Please call up. Oh, excuse me. That was Whitney Young. Our uh, mental health is 518-269-6634. Our 24-hour sexual assault hotline, as always, and the 201 in New York State hotline. Please utilize the resources that have been out there. And if you don't have insurance, don't worry. Our mental health is not taking insurance cards. Uh, and it's also for your children. Because please, again, take the time, talk to your kids. Things are different. Uh, the ones that did the right thing, that didn't bring the grandkids over to certain grandma and grandpa, thank you. To the ones that didn't, shame on you. Because you're putting everyone at risk. Do the right thing. It's a little different this time. Uh, we'll get through it, and we'll get through it together. Uh, by working in a partnership, and we're not people, we're, we're almost there. We are almost there. Uh, I know five, six months seems like a long time, but we've been doing it for eight months, and we need to continue to work with each other. Please stay safe and healthy.